medical evaluation. Again, they, they inventory your property, you sign for that, they place you in jail clothing, and then they make so a you determination. Would, you have to, you'd have to wear a particular Absolutely. uniform, what would it look like? Absolutely. He would probably wear a two-piece, which is a pair of pants and something like a sweatshirt. No armband, huh? No armband. And I can assure you there'd be no deputy sheriff carrying his umbrella. Yeah. That would happen immediately, as soon as he gets here? Yeah, that would be the first thing, is that they would place him in custody so he could get into his cell and, and get used to it. So they would take the time to, to go through all the process, put him in jail clothing, take him to where he's going to be, explain to him what the rules are, what, what his routine will be when he gets up, when he goes to bed, they feed him in the cells. And, uh, what, so are they the, could what, would, what would generally be the rules in terms of hours, etc.? Well, normally they're up at 5, they, they go to bed at 9, if you're going to be transported, if you're not going to be transported, you can sleep a little longer. Uh, most of them have television uh, available as well as telephones available, not for incoming calls, but they can make outgoing collect calls. So he'll have the ability to have access to people outside of the jail facility. Uh, visitation is fairly liberal. So after he's booked, this is the facility where Jackson will be brought? Yeah, Dan, it's my understanding that they have a cell here ready for him. Really? They're already prepared? That they're prepared. Uh, that would have a full 24-hour camera so they can they can watch him 24 hours a day because they'd be worried about his mental health. When you say Jackson would be on a suicide watch, as a practical matter, what would that mean in terms of his cell? It would mean that he would probably be under 24-hour camera so they could watch him at all times. They would have a log where they would log every 15 minutes or so what he was doing. It's an area where there's a lot of access by officers who would be walking by and looking in. And it's an area that would be away from other inmates who may taunt him or give him a problem. And how will it differ from the way other inmates are treated here? Michael Jackson, if he's convicted of um, child molestation, will not be a popular person just because of that charge, nor is anybody else that is booked here for that charge. But because of who he is and the notoriety and the attention that he will be getting, they will make sure that they keep him separated, keep him well and keep him well taken care of. And what if he has medical problems? I mean, if he's had all these medical problems during the trial, and what if you, know, you hear a lot of complaints about this 